Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio. Based on common questions I get, I decided to create a series of videos focused on each of the sculpting brushes or tools in Nomad Sculpt, taking advantage that the version 1.37 was just released with some improvements on the slicing tools. Today we're gonna focus on the project trim and split tools. To control the slices and cuts, it's highly recommended your camera is set to orthographic. Also make sure that you're working with a high resolution mesh. Let's start with project. To show you better its nature, I'll create a layer. Project pushes the geometry into a defined shape. It does not change the topology, it only pushes the vertices. On the side, you can choose the shape. By default, it will be set to view. So nothing is gonna happen until you choose any of the other options. Anything inside the white area will be pushed. You can flip which side is white by using the flip button. By default, flip will deactivate symmetry, but you can easily turn it back on. Curve will let me draw any shape. The arrow indicates the direction of the push. You can activate or deactivate the flip before you finish drawing the curve. If you have shaky hands and you struggle making clean lines, we can open the stroke settings and use the lazy rope stabilizer, which is formerly known as dragging distance. It will set a lag between your pencil and the stroke, letting you trace slowly with control. The UI doesn't show the distance with this tool, but on other sculpting tools like brush, it will show you the actual rope. Another option is using stroke smoothing, which will make an average of the multiple pointer positions, giving us as a result a smoother, cleaner line. High values might make the stroke also lag, but it will catch up once you stop. You already know how line works, except that in the tool settings, you can choose at the bottom the rotation step by setting an angle. Rectangle and ellipse work similarly. They will draw a shape starting from its corner. Inside the trim settings, you can set them to be perfect squares or circles, or instead of drawing the shape corner to corner, using the center as a start point. An important note, when the center of the shape stays outside of the mesh, it will project as we expect, creating a negative space, but as soon as the center overlaps the geometry, it will project, creating a positive space. Be aware that the mesh afterwards will be all over the place, so you may need a pass of a smooth with relax or remesh soon after. As for polygon, when I tap the screen, it will create points defining, well, a polygon. If you tap between two, it will create a middle point. You can tap and drag to modify their position. To erase them, tap them and drag them to the closest point. When you are ready to apply the projection, tap on the green dot. The nature of the project tool might result in residual geometry when you project into a thinner area. Remember, we are working by pushing the mesh that we have. To avoid this, you want to use the trim tool instead. Trim does not push the topology. It cuts the mesh and closes the hole with a new mesh. The shape creation is the same as the project tool. An important difference is that trim can be used to punch holes inside a geometry. Inside the tool settings, you have two sliders that will make the cut follow more accurately the cutting shape and improve how the hole is filled. If you have no respect for life, you can deactivate fill holes and leave this as an open geometry. The slices and cuts are camera based, which is why we snap our camera to perfect orthographic views. If you need to create volume based holes, you'd be better off by creating a geometry shape as what the hole will look like. Inside the scene menu, hide it, select the main geometry and voxel merge. This is the boolean operation for subtracting. If instead you hide both geometries, the result is the intersection. As for the last tool, split. Instead of erasing the selected area, it will divide it into two different meshes. Everything else is the same. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you soon with a new tool. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.